Good morning and welcome to the virtual field day. I'm Chuck Francis, member of the Grain Place Foundation Board. I'd like to talk briefly about our research plans, what we're doing today and what we think are, are thinking about for tomorrow. Central to our research is a nine-year crop livestock rotation. And you've seen a short video of the fields producing food grain crops that are processed right at the Grain Place Foods. We'll talk about the economics of this corn, soybean, organic rotation compared to returns from conventional crops in Hamilton County. And then a brief description of a new SARA project we're doing comparing dry lot hogs with those on pasture, a silvopastoral system. The organic corn soybean data are from the irrigated no-till system and compares yields with county averages over the last 18 years with production cost data used year by year from Nebraska Cooperative Extension. Now these estimates of income are conservative for the organic system because they're based on organic corn and soybean uh, feed grain prices. And in reality, everything here was processed uh, on the farm and sold direct or by wholesale. So the actual uh, profits would be much higher. Here's a trace of the profits, and you can see the organic profits year by year in the red boxes that were higher than conventional in all except one year, uh, 2011, uh, and were lower in uh, one year, uh, 2002, when the uh, rotation was just started. You can focus for a moment on the far right to the average for the uh, 18 years uh, presented here. The uh, Average return to uh, land and labor for the uh, corn and soybeans about uh, $300 per acre or approximately twice as much as conventional corn soybean rotation in the county and about five times, six times as much as conventional continuous corn. So just to summarize, higher net returns for the uh, organic corn and soybeans in 15 of 17 years and higher net uh, return than continuous corn in every year except 2012. The conventional corn soybean rotation in Hamilton County was also more profitable than conventional continuous corn and one must ask why do people plant continuous corn. If we had used the value of organic food grain corn and beans, the uh, difference in prices and the difference in returns would have been much more profitable than conventional. And what keeps conventional crops going, obviously, is the commodity subsidy payments. To conclude, we uh, continuously and consistently produce higher net returns from these organic food grains than the conventional food grains, uh, conventional grains that are produced in the county. The focus in the future will be to improve production and resilience of this system, better understand mechanisms behind these results, how we achieve those, and to educate others on the benefits of organic systems through our field days and um, visits to the farm by visitors. The future research may include the hogs, sheep, and chickens in the rotation in our three years of pasture in this long-term experiment. We'll also look at new crops to put into the rotation. The general conclusion and uh, one of our most important uh, things going on here is we're adding value on the farm to the crops through direct marketing and providing over 20 jobs on this small 260 acre farm in the central Platte Valley in Nebraska. Thanks for attending our field day and please come visit sometime. <laughs>